Hi, my name is Beatriz Serrano. I am a coordinator for the European Galaxy community. And in this talk, I will introduce the different options for bioimage analysis in Galaxy. I'm part of the work uh, developed during my postdoc at EMBL within the European project EOS Life. The typical image analysis pipeline starts obviously with an image that we want to extract features from to measure some attributes and then later perform a downstream analysis to draw some scientific conclusions. There are tools to perform every step, but deploying them in the cloud is challenging for bioimage analysts. And usually this is targeted to individual tools, which makes the interoperability with the rest of the ecosystem even more complicated. This becomes especially problematic when the pipeline requires a combination of tools, which is very often the case. And Galaxy can help to improve the interoperability here, acting as an integrative platform across disciplines. So bringing imaging into Galaxy is not only beneficial in terms of interoperability between imaging tool suites, but also for cross-disciplines research. The imaging community can benefit from being in the same environment as other tools and other scientific areas can also add imaging to their scientific studies. Some efforts have been made to add image analysis tools from different suites. All the resources have been conveniently collected in the imaging subdomain on usegalaxy.eu. As you can see here, there are training materials with all the imaging slides, hands-on data set and workflows available in DigiTN uh, for data access, to access Omero instances, uh, to convert images, also for segmentation, feature extraction. There is a profiler, a number of tools is already integrated there. Image J, also for mass spectrometry. There are um, some suites there and biological oscillation analysis. And there are more to come. Cell Profiler 4 is being integrated. There will be also options for 3D segmentation and feature extraction. Also Elastic and Elastics will be both um, added to Galaxy soon. I've only briefly mentioned before the access to imaging data from Galaxy. There is a tool that is called the Image Data Resource or Omero Download Tool. You see here a screenshot of that. Um, the first thing to choose is if you want to go to the public archive, that is the IDR, or you want to pick images from a local Omero instance that is accessible to Galaxy, then you can indicate which are the image IDs that you want to download into your history. And finally, you can select a region of interest. That means you can decide which channel you want to take, which set playing, if there is a particular frame that you want to capture from a time-lapse image, or if you want to crop the image before downloading. That way, you only take the section, the region of interest that you want to analyze and not the whole file. Now I would like to talk about an exemplary workflow from EOS Life that we were running using both the IDR Omero download tool to get the data into the galaxy history and then using Cell Profiler to analyze the images. We wanted to look at phenotypes that could give us some insight into the nucleus biology. And for that, we took a number of data sets, um, gene silencing, overexpression, and compound that you see listed there. And we took the DNA channel of all of them. The images are like the one that you see on the right side of the screen. Only the DNA is shown there. You see the nucleus and the holes that are pointed by the red arrows are the nucleoli. And we were interested in knowing how many nucleoli per nucleus we could find, if there would be an increased number or a decrease when the gene is silenced, overexpress, or a compound is acting. Same for the shape and also for the spatial distribution within the nucleus. So we imported all these images into Galaxy from different data sets, cropped and taking only the DNA channel and we analyzed them using 22 models of cell profiler that were integrated into Galaxy um, by my colleague Isung from EMBL. And the outcome of the workflow is a set of features describing every image, every nuclei and every nucleoli that we could later process in an interactive environment. The workflow is public, it's available for everyone in the workflow hub together with another one that we recently developed on object tracking using Cell Profiler 2.
and those workflows can be run directly on usegalaxy.eu through the button that you see on the top right side of the screenshot. Finally, I wanted to mention that there are also training materials in the GTN available to analyze this data. The first one was uh, linked to the EOS Live project to nuclearize segmentation and feature extraction using Cell Profiler. And the second one is object tracking using Cell Profiler. You can see here in the GIF that there is a cell that is dividing. And in the image below, you see the outcome of tracking this dividing nuclei. And with this, I would like to thank everyone involved in this project, from EMBL, Isung was integrating the tools, and Jan Karin was the supervisor of the project. In the IDR, we had Jan Maria as the point of contact, and from the Galaxy community side, we have Bjorn and Jeremy. And thank you all for your attention.